Hey Lesby Swaggers, welcome back to Trisha Unedited Part 2. This week I'm in New York, and I discovered last week that I didn't, you couldn't really hear me in my video, so this week we're very close to my face, and hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. But um, once again, this will be unedited and probably filled with a lot of, um, um, like, uh, so I apologize in advance for that. But anyways, let's get on with the show. This week's topic is long distance relationships. And there's a lot, I think, to say about long distance relationships because every relationship is different and it has different strengths and different weaknesses. Um, as far as I think strengths you need to be in a long distance relationship, I think you have to be really very trusting and um, you have to be very committed are, the, I think, the two biggest ones. Um, because without trust, you're constantly going to be worried that, you know, something better is going to come along or they're going to cheat on you or whatever. Um, what was the other one that I said? Commitment? Yeah, I think commitment. Because to be in a long-distance relationship, I think you're going to want to make the commitment to try and, like, it depends. Like, internet long-distance is different from, like, just, like, general long-distance. Like, if you live, like, an hour or an hour and a half away from someone. I think if you're living like an hour or an hour and a half away from someone, you won't want to make the commitment to try and go see each other as much as you can equally. Um, I was in a long distance relationship before I could drive, and um, the girl I was dating could drive, and so she would always drive down to see me, um, which was about 45 minutes, and I could never really drive up to see her because she was, she was a great deal older than me and my parents weren't really comfortable with me just going up and hanging out with her when her parents were pretty lax considering she was like 19. <laughs> I was 15 at the time. But um, I think it's something you need to be able to put equal amounts into the relationship. Like you have to be willing to dedicate yourself just as much as the other person is willing to dedicate themselves to the relationship. because. If you're, if you're only halfway dedicated to the relationship and the other person is completely dedicated to the relationship, things aren't really going to work out. And I also think that you need to have equal, or have at least shared your opinions on what the relationship consists of, like how often you want to see each other, um, just general like relationship things, like how committed to each other you are, um, how serious the relationship is. Is this like a casual thing, like you're gonna, you know, see each other when you can, or is this something that you really want to see them a lot? And do you want to talk every day? Um, do you want to make Skype dates so that you can see each other in person and uh, phone dates? And like, how, you know, detailed do you want to make this? How um, big of a commitment are you willing to make? Um, I think when I was in a long distance relationship, the hardest thing was the fact that we weren't able to put in, I wasn't able to put in the same amount of effort into the relationship she was, which um, took its toll, and it wasn't my fault, and that was a problem because she kind of resented the fact that I couldn't, even though I, it wasn't really my fault, and she knew it wasn't my fault, um, because it was my parents, but um, that did leave some sort of resentment with nowhere to go, and every now and then it would come up in arguments, and she made me feel bad about the fact that I couldn't come up and see her all the time, and she talked about how much gas money she spent coming to see me, and um, how she wishes she could just like hold me at night and like it's not my fault I can't have sleepovers. Like you, you got involved with me, knowing that that wasn't a possibility, and like that I can't drive up and see you, and it's just you really have to be dedicated to the relationship. I think um, on an equal playing field. Let's see, what else did we talk about? Um, internet relationships are also an interesting one. I personally have had a lot of internet friendships. I've never dated someone over the internet. Um, I thought about it, but I think one of the biggest things with that is you have to be, you do things kind of backwards. Like when you date someone you met on the internet, you get to know them really well first and then you meet each other and you, you know, see if there's a physical, or a, that kind of connection. Whereas the person you met in real life, you would 
get to know them on a, hey, I'm kind of attracted to this person, let's get to know them more, because I'm initially interested in them kind of way. With the internet, I think you have to be able to have a really, I think, a really solid conversation with someone. Um, and the conversation has to flow really easily when you talk and also when you text because I think texting slash emailing is a big way you communicate when you're in an online or um, that far of a long distance relationship. So if your communication doesn't really flow smoothly, it's hard because one, like you don't have anything to talk about and two, you're not talking very much. So I think if you're going to get involved with someone over the internet, you have to be also very dedicated to the relationship. But um, I think it's also a big deal that you need to have a very um, good communication with the person in all forms. Otherwise, there's going to be something missing there. And you're not going to have all the time, I guess, uh, I don't really know if time's the right word, but you're not going to have the connection with them as much as you are probably going to want to or really should with someone who you're in a relationship with. But also, there's the fact that like you, you discuss the relationship beforehand and like how serious it's going to be. Like, is this just like an online flir flirtation, or is this like an actual like dating thing? And you know, it's different for different people. Like, I'm not sure that I could handle the internet relationship thing because I'm someone who needs um, a lot of physical contact, not not in a dirty way. Don't don't get your mind out of the gutter. But um, I am a very like huggy, cuddly person. And like I crave like just like physical affection. I'm a very physically affectionate person, um, and it's really hard for me when I don't have that. Um, so I think that you, it's going to be something that some people can do, but other people it might not be, you know, the relationship for them. And that's why you have to take the time to communicate and talk to your partner and discuss all that. So. This has been your Lesbian Swag Wednesday with Trish, and I hope you are all having a wonderful week, and you are perfect just the way you are. Don't ever forget that.